Or McNeil looking into Holmes, decides to take it herself. Osmond, numbers for the Spartans. Joiner into the chest of Scalia for two. Halleck behind the line, misses everything. Chased down by Joiner. And then a foul as Barkasser crumbles to the floor. So off the common foul, it is free throws for Joyner Holmes. Michigan State is in the bonus the rest of the way. The Hoosier is trying to avoid back-to-back -back losses. More McNeil looking for options. And decides on herself, backing down Hageman. That's just left short, but a foul on the ground against the Spartans. Going for that rebound. Absolutely, that's over the back. And you credit the position that Mackenzie Holmes got in the paint on a roll. You got a box route. You got to push her out. Have another look at it here. The drive by Moore McNeil. Sizing up in the paint. Misses the shot. And just the possession. Couldn't see it here, but Holmes got great, uh, great position to rebound under the basket. A whistle on Joyner, providing that defense on Scalia. It's her third. So Aralt has four, Joyner has three for the Spartans. On the other side, more McNeil flirting with a triple double. Eight, nine, and ten she's got. Holmes takes it all the way off the feet from Moore McNeil. We're going to see a lot of success in that pick and roll action just from the hard hedge. Holmes is going to have the edge rolling there every single time. Outside's got to be there too. Hageman retreating. Joiner. Wrapped up, it is Arolt who's gonna have to throw it up, but she'll go to the rim. Almost. This five of six shooting. Holmes bucket on the roll every time in the two. Option possible, they're down four. Lots of go-to players yep. to put it in their hands. Right now, it is Hageman, the step and the lay-in. After that, but the timeout was called by Coach Moore. Just right in time, but how about the drive there by Hageman? She's had a stellar game. They're called for the foul, held on to Scalia. Up in gear zone one more time. Still got her eyes on Sarah Scalia, and they do get it into her. She loses it, and then comes the foul. for a double dribble there. She was under distress with the pressure that was coming from the Spartans. She steps to the free throw line and hits the first. Huge one to make it a two possession game. The sophomores, the inbounder into the hands of Hageman. She gets into the paint in a hurry. Can't drop in the layup and more McNeil is fouled. So that was the same setup that they had in the last. Assistant coach, Rhett Wiersba. Huge one from Moore McNeil. Huge free throws, Moore McNeil. No timeouts for the Spartans. They have to go the length of the floor. Time running out for Hageman, who drills it. But time runs out. 94-91 ending in a flash and the Hoosiers just escape.